here's an example where it says solve for the cosine of 2x equals negative root 3 over 2. Well, if, if it had said something like the cosine of u, or even the cosine of x equals negative root 3 over 2, that's easy. We just look at our unit circle, and we look at where the cosine is negative root 3 over 2, which is there and there, and those are our two answers, 5 pi over 6 and 7 pi over 6. u would equal 5 pi over 6 and 7 pi over 6. But it doesn't say the cosine of x. It says the cosine of 2x. So this is what we do. We just change this to 2x. So 2x has to equal 5 pi over 6 and 7 pi over 6, which means x has to equal 5 pi over 12 and 7 pi over 12. But there's more answers that we need to take into consideration now because... because um, we divided by 2, basically what we're doing is we're going around this circle twi uh, half as fast. So we've really only made it halfway around our circle and we found two answers. We need to, we need to consider the two more, one more revolution around the circle is what we need to consider. And so when I look at this, I'm going to change to green for this. If I add 2 pi to this number, 5 pi over 6, that's like adding 12 pi over 6, right? I'm going to get 19 pi over 6. And if I do the same to this one right here, if I add 12 pi over 6, I'm going to get 17 pi over 6. So we need to consider those two things. Uh, we're assuming that they're, they're, they want you to solve this for um, x between 0 and 2 pi. All right, so I'm, I'm going to add these two values here, 17 pi over 6 and 19 pi over 6, which means when I solve, I'm dividing by 2, I'm going to get 17 pi over 12 and 19 pi over 12. And you'll notice that this is still less than 2 pi. Is 24, because 24 pi over 12 is 2 pi, so 19 pi over 12 is less than 2 pi. Mm -hmm. And that's the reason you have to go back around the circle twice. This right here tells you that to go around the circle twice. Let's try another one. What if it said the cosine of 3? I think I, I, think I can even fit it in down here. What if it said the cosine of 3x equals negative root 3 over 2? then I'd need to go around the circle another time. Mm -hmm. So add another, I would have the same four, four solutions right here, but then I'd also have two more solutions because I'd have to go around a third time. So to these, I'm going to add 12 pi over 6. So that would be 29 pi over 6 and 31 pi over 6 because that's going around the circle one more time. And so when I divide, no, oh, I'm sorry. These aren't the answers. These wouldn't be the answers right here for this problem because I would be not dividing by 2. I would be dividing by 3. So I would still have to use, I would still have to use all four of those, but then two more as well. So your four answers for this would be x equals, I'm going to, remember this would be a 3 now this was a 3. I'm going to divide by 3, so it's 5 pi over 18, 7 pi over 18, 17 pi over 18, 19 pi over 18. Notice I just barely got past the pot, past halfway around the circle, right? And then 29 pi over 18 and 31 pi over 18. Those are my six answers because there, this was a 3x, which meant I had to go around the circle three times to get all of the values that would give me solutions between 0 and 2 pi. And you'll notice again, this is 18 now. You'll notice that 31 over 18 is less than 2. So 31 over 18 pi is less than 2 pi, which means I'm still not around the entire circle entirely yet. So that's how you do those problems.